Okay, so one of the members asked regarding amiodarone induced lung injury. So understand that amiodarone induced lung injury commonly presents as chronic interstitial pneumonitis, and it usually develops in patients who are taking more than 400 milligram per day of amiodarone for more than a year or so for a longer period of time. So, but there are case reports of developing within weeks, but these are very rare. So, how it presents? It presents with dry cough, uh, dyspnea. Then you have weight loss, malaise. Uh, it can also present with fever also uh, in, at times, but there is usually no clubbing. So how do you how do you suspect when these patients uh, present with these symptoms get an X-ray done or PFT with DLCO or CT scans? And once there is suspicion of chronic interstitial pneumonitis, the first thing is we need to stop the drug. But at times, because it has a longer half-life of somewhere around 45 days and it accumulates in the fat, so it continues to remain in the blood for a longer period of time. Therefore, uh, uh, the patient can continue to have chronic interstitial pneumonitis for a little bit more. And the treatment is switching to glucocorticoids. And glucocorticoids usually have a very drastic effect on, on this. And then once it is settled down, you need to taper off glucocorticoids. If, if again recurs, then you need to uh, again introduce the glucocorticoids uh, for that matter. And then we should not use amidaron in such patients further. So uh, I hope this was helpful. Do read more about it.